Quadratic Equations and Introduction In a recent video we introduced Joe Quadratic who easily solved a linear equation but ran into trouble when he tried to solve this quadratic equation 3n squared plus 5n minus 2 equals 0 In this video we'll introduce the different methods we'll show Joe to be able to solve equations like these with a quadratic or squared term a quadratic equation might have two solutions, one solution or even no real solutions, and we'll be looking into five different ways to find the solution or solutions to these equations, even if the finding is that there is no real solution. Here are the five different ways we'll show Joe how to use. The square root method is a really fast and easy method that can be used only when we have a quadratic equation without a linear term, such as this equation, x squared equals 16. The factoring method makes use of the property of quadratic equations that a quadratic equation with any real solutions is the product of two linear equations. If we can break a quadratic equation into two parts or factors, we can find the solutions by finding the solution of each of the two composing linear equations. It's a very good method that takes some learning and skill to be able to use. For instance, this equation x squared minus 2x equals 0 can be broken into the two equations or factors x equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0 which can be solved to give us two solutions 0 and 2. If you have trouble factoring, or maybe are not very skilled at factoring, or even come across a factorable equation, but one that is very difficult, the quadratic formula pictured on the lower right of this screen can be used to just plug in numbers to find the real solutions to the quadratic equation, if there are any. This formula may look complicated, but can be quickly learned and used. Probably my favorite method that we'll spend a lot of time with is solving quadratic equations by graphing. This method involves transforming a quadratic equation into a quadratic function and seeing where the parabolic curve of the quadratic function crosses a line, and I like to arrange for that line to be the x-axis. Finally, there is the completing the square method, which is a pretty advanced technique that basically simplifies a fairly complex quadratic equation into a form that can be solved using the square root method, like number one above. I hope you will find some satisfaction in being able to learn and use this more advanced method. Check out the upcoming lessons where Joe will become acquainted with and eventually show us how to use these five, five methods. This has been an introduction to solving quadratic equations. Thanks for viewing.